Dito from Connecticut. How you doing, guys? Well, today we want to work on uh, what is called the Riello burner. Uh, a lot of people, they go to a job, they get scared. They right away say, oh, no, I, I don't know how to work with this thing. I, I, I never work in this thing. Okay, you see over here, this is the old model M5 Riello. Uh, they... Uh, this burner, they uh, they hardly break down. This is, but they're real sensitive. Everything, the setting in this thing has got to be perfect. Otherwise, you know this, you know this thing run forever. But if the setting they're wrong, you could you could run to a lot of problems, uh, mechanical, electrical, all kind of stuff. So we're gonna take this thing. I haven't opened it yet, but M5 seems to me one of those real old model. Now they got a. Uh, and I show you the plan and all kind of stuff. And uh, if I find the link again, I'm gonna put it down in the corner over there, right here in the corner. I put it down the link down there so you guys see it. Uh, so for now, we're gonna take this thing up. We get my screwdriver. Uh, this is my four-way screwdriver, real handy, guys. You gotta fill it this side, and uh, we're gonna take this apart. I bought this home. One of the other tech gave it to me, I throw it in the truck. I don't know what's inside here, so I believe it's the old model. And we're gonna take it apart. Hopefully this hopefully they ain't stripped this thing down. I don't know where he got it from. But uh let's see what we got. And you slide this cover up. Okay, no, this is not all. This is uh hmm. In five got the piston now now they come with a now you see a hydraulic piston over here well yeah it's kind of the old model you see how this piston over here is open and closed the reason they do this is because uh they want to keep the by doing this they want to keep the heat inside inside the unit and they say by doing this, uh, the heat stay inside and then get more efficiency. Uh, this is should be close over here. I don't know why. I think they uh, they disconnect. No, they don't. No, they got the wire. But I get the tie and they left it open. But this thing should have went back and closed the whole thing. And how they adjust this piston, this in particular. Now they got electronic. This is the old model, but basically it fit the same purpose. The electronic now. Uh, they want you to disconnect a couple of wires. We're gonna go through all of that because they have they was having problem. Uh, and this this is how you adjust it. You I'm screw this main nut over here. And you go this way and this will open and close to adjust the ear. Very, very important this to do this when you play with the with the ear. Very very important setting. And uh, this is the primary control over here, safety switch. Uh, this is the pump, the solenoid, this is the capacitor over here. You can see the motor over here, and you can see the line coming out of here see the line coming out of here uh, and this is the, the wire that's why you saw me before making those jumper because I think I'm gonna use this thin wire and see how okay and uh, this is that adjust the rotation head over here back and forward to remove the nozzle all that stuff okay we're gonna do that First of all, you know, you need to, you're supposed to use gloves, so you don't want to get that oil on your hand. It's real bad for your skin, you know. And uh, I should be using gloves, but in this case, I don't. So lazy, I don't want to go to the truck and some gloves. 